Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can move your arms in a way that complements your hip moves so that you look better dancing. My mission with this channel is to get you from the sidelines onto the dance floor and make you start enjoying yourself when it comes to dancing, whether it's at a party, at a club, or at a wedding. And a small thing you can do to help me reach more people who are interested in learning how to dance is by clicking the like button, subscribing to my channel, hitting the notifications bell so you're notified whenever I post. If you want to know how I help my clients, like for example, Taylor, go from looking rigid and uncomfortable to looking like this, check out my brand new 45 minute free masterclass when I'm spilling all my secrets. You will find the link in the description underneath this video. And if you'd like to become confident when it comes to dancing in social settings, maybe you want to stop avoiding the dance floor, stay tuned until the end of this video. I'm going to explain how we can work together inside my online dance program where you can learn with my proven system, my feedback and my guidance all the way through. The first movement, we're just going to do one knee at a time. So very simple. You just bring one knee forward at a time. And the first movement with the arms, you're going to cross like in front of your chest, bring the hands across and then behind your head up. Okay, we'll do that again. I'm gonna mess up my hair, but don't mind me. We have cross, open, up, okay? And at the same time, you see? <laughs> at the same time, you keep moving the knees, so that doesn't stop. The arms, of course, they don't follow anything specific, you're just moving them slow. So we don't want, you know, quick, and lost the beat. So we have one, two, one, two, one, two. Once you're comfortable with the lower body movement, bring the arms to the shoulders, hands to the shoulders, open, up. And you can hold them up a little bit here, then bring them down. However, let's repeat that. We have cross, slide, up. A little tip when you're doing the uh, hands behind, make sure you're not like looking straight at someone because that kind of looks weird but you want to look sideways, look down, it will make you feel more comfortable. Let's try last time. Six, seven, eight, knees and hips, and arms. Second move we're going to do is we're going to do the hip roll. So you're going to rotate the hips, We'll do it with a little bit of a twist. So you're going to angle the pelvis one way, then the other, just randomly, right? So instead of keeping straight, we can do it with a little twist. And the arms will be super simple. Uh, we're just going to have them up, okay? So you, I'm holding my hands together and my focus is still on the pelvis, on the raw. Okay, now keep in mind, this move will bring attention to you. So make sure you're super confident with the hip roll. You can practice it by itself first and then hold the hands. You can change position so they don't have to be like that. You can bring them over to the side, other side, but make sure you're holding the fingers. We'll stay with the hip roll for now. Uh, keep the knees bent, keep the hips going. And this time the arms will be also up, but we're going to bring them around just like the hips. You see, so my hands go exactly where my hips go. Side, front, side, back. I would say practice it slowly first, and then you can speed it up. Pretty simple, but um, with this movement, make sure you're not rolling the entire song. You literally do it maybe like one time, two times, that's it. So let me show you how you can connect it with the previous movement. They kind of go together nicely. So remember we were holding hands when we did the roll. So you can start like that, angle the pelvis, and then maybe give it one roll. Literally that's it. 
Those movements in general will look good in combination. You're not going to do each for, you know, half the song or full song. It's going to look crazy. <laughs> Let me try again. So we have hip roll, around, around, arms up. And let's switch to holding. So now I reversed it. Around, and then you can bring the arms up. So it will always be a mix. For the last movement, we're going to do the dip. So we're just going to uh, swing the hips side to side. Let's get the hips down first. Okay, and then with the arms, you're gonna have one arm up and the other one will slide down. So a tutorial for the arms, touch behind and literally just slide down. <laughs> okay, so we have hips, arm up, slide down. And of course we only do it once because you're not gonna be sliding up and down like that. Let's try again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then bring the arms by your sides. Let me know in the comments, guys, which option did you like most? Which one will you try? Which one maybe you're already doing at a party or in the club? And uh, I'm going to link a tutorial I did previously. I taught you some arm options already, so you can check it out. It will be in the description. Guys, if you are uncomfortable dancing social settings, you tend to avoid the dance floor because you don't know what to do, remember that I can help. In my online dance program, Confidence Through Dance, I help adults go from the sidelines to thriving in social dance situations by building their dance skills and their confidence using my step-by-step -step system. A system that in the past nearly 18 years helped students like Monica go from no skills and looking rigid to a skilled and confident social dancer, or students like Taylor who went from no moves and unsure what to do to freely expressing herself on the dance floor. Below this video, you'll find a link to apply to a free consultations with me where we're going to discuss what I can help you with, how I can help you with it, and hopefully we can get you dancing. Also below, check the link to my free masterclass. It's a brand new 45 minute training where I'm spilling my secrets on how I became confident when it comes to dancing for of others and how I was able to teach thousands of students achieve their dance goals as well. Let me know if this video was helpful. Do you want me to create more smooth, sensual, sexy tutorials like that? I will. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos, hit the bell to be notified whenever I post, and I'm going to see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys.